This color up here, which is the highest light in the slate, that's going to be white plus a drop of cobalt blue plus maybe even a tiny drop of this cadmium yellow. So that's like your surface, the, the brightest point. Okay. Then when you get down to the shadowing, you're going to have a lot of different values. But what I did was I added um, raw umber to the white and the blue. And there, if you want to just take that same color that you just mixed and add um, raw umber and cobalt blue to it, then you'll get this effect over here, which this is the shadowing area. So you'll, you'll get your shadow down first. So it's just, that's sort of the mid-tone. Then you're going to take white, just plain white, very little of it on the brush, and you're going to stroke it like this straight up and down here and there. What that does is it gives it um, some texture and it allows it to appear like it's the side view, mm -hmm. literally standing straight up and down like this, aligned with the edge of the paper so that you've got your strokes are going like this and that gives it texture and makes it feel like it's, it's laying there. So then what you'll need to do after that is go back in and kind of sharpen your edges and you can get a little bit, mm, that same color, I used purple and I meant to use raw umber, get a little bit darker yet on your edges to just get them, and you don't have to draw them in, you can just use it to clean up, just to clean up the edges, right? And then you, you can blend it in if you want, stroking down. So this gives the, the sharp edge. Then you'll go back on the other side of that edge and put in your your highlights right up against it and stroke it in the same manner that you would that it lays along with the slate. Now there's going to still be, you'll see the highlight points, right? But you're going to also see some darks that kind of carry over as a little more, more texture. See that texture that's right there? Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of simulating that. Do it again. Mm. Right. And it just sort of makes the edges. I'm twisting the brush, bringing it out so it gives a little point. So it's a feeling of, uh, just a feeling of slate. And then there's, then you'll you'll make sure that the lights are nice and strong up against each area that's dark. All this should be sharply up against it. And again, sharp up against. So lights against darks throughout the whole piece, and you just keep going. The crack, of course, is nice and dark. You want to emphasize that. Okay?